All right, I'm gonna start over because I feel like this was a lot of work, okay? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashanti. If you're new here, before we get started, you already know what I'm gonna say. You already know what I'm gonna do. Join the squad, join the family, okay? I have been working all morning on my new update on my iPhone. I have the iPhone 11, if you don't know. I did a review on it when I first got it and I'll link that up in the cards here and in the description box below. I set up this really cute, um, you know, purplish, neon aesthetic and i want to show you guys how i did it it was not easy well it was easy but it was just a lot of work so i'm going to show you guys how to do it and if you'd like to see how i got my beautiful new iphone aesthetic just keep watching okay so the first thing i did was i went to pinterest and all morning i've been trying to figure out like what kind of aesthetic that i like i decided that i was going to go with a purple theme with neon you know accents so all morning i searched like you know different neon backgrounds and different purple backgrounds and purple themed pictures and i pinned that all to my ios 14 aesthetic board if you would like to use some of the pictures that i saved you can go to my description box below the link to my pinterest page will be down there you know i gathered a couple of pictures that i liked and all of the icons of the apps that i use the most in these like neon pictures right and then once i pinned them all i went and i screenshot each one cropped them all and then got them to the size that i needed for creating my shortcuts then what i did was i cleaned up my entire home screen so how you do that is you can go to the home screen you can make the icon shake as they always do and then if you click the four buttons that the little four dots at the bottom. You can actually move the icons from your homepage to your library without deleting them all at one time. And I have like four pages of apps on my phone. So this actually helped me a lot. So I deleted the apps, most of the apps, and then I just focused on my first page of apps, which is where I was always keeping my apps at. Once I did that, I kind of went through and I deleted, not deleted, but I moved them to off my home screen. The apps that you can't really move, you couldn't move before, like um, the books and certain certain other apps, I just moved, removed all of those from my home screen. Okay, so once I did that, I took every app that I had left and I created a shortcut for each app. For example, if you go to, if you're trying to create a shortcut for, let's say my music app, right? So I have this play button icon that I had saved in my Pinterest folder. And I went to, I opened the app called Shortcuts. And in there you create, you create a new shortcut. So in order to do that, on the top right side, you press the plus button and then you add app action and then you search open app and then when you add open app to that the choose button is there so you choose the app that you want to open and then that is the action then you go to the top right corner and you name the shortcut but then the most important part is you add it to your home screen when you open it in that way then you go to you click the little icon to the left where it says new shortcut you click it and then it'll give you the option of choosing a photo so you i chose the you know the little play button that i had and then i renamed the shortcut to music this is important because this is what's going to show up on your home screen so once i did that i saved it and they all ended up I did that for every single app and they're all on my home screen. Once I did that, there are two apps that you need to create other widgets for, and that is Color Widgets as well as Widget Smith. The date and time uh, widget that I have, I use Color Smith for, and Color Smith doesn't really have a lot of options, but you just go into Color Smith and you can select what size widget you want, and you can change, in this app, you can change the background of the widget itself. Itself. So I used this like purple cloud picture that I found on Pinterest and then you know I just adjusted the font. There's not really many options with this. You can just adjust the font, the, uh, the color of their numbers and stuff like that. And then to add it to your home screen, you just make your screen 
wiggle <laughs> and then you press the plus sign and then you search you know color widgets on your home screen and then it'll give you the option to choose which widget you want and then you can add that to your home screen this is for any widget if there's only one widget on your screen it's gonna give you it's gonna kind of default it in a certain place but like the smaller widgets you can actually move around which is what I did on the second page and so for that I actually used the other one widget smith to create these widgets what I did was I went into widget smith and I selected um, I, I just created a couple of small widgets and I just went in there and you can it says like default widget and you click on it and you can go down to you slide down to custom and then it'll say photo or photos and albums you select which photo you select photo and then down at the bottom there's a selected photo and then you choose whatever photo you like and then you create the widget then you just go back and you add the widget itself to your home screen and you adjust the home screen as needed okay so now that i've showed you how to create your aesthetically pleasing home screen and everything i want to show you i want to share with you some shortcuts or like some things new new features that the iphone has so if you go to if you open up your messages if you go into your text messages you can actually um, reply to specific messages in the thread instead of just reacting to certain comments you can actually reply to certain portions of your thread and so like this is my conversation with myself and you see how like now it has the reply button I can reply I can reply to it and I can go you know hey or something so now the reply is it's within a certain part you see how like it says like one reply i can actually open it up and say okay this was the reply to that like if you're in a group chat it really this is really helpful for when you're like in a group chat with multiple people and like you want to answer somebody's thing but you don't want to like say hey such and such and such you know you know how you get like sidetracked with a million conversations in a group chat this is really really good for that another feature that uh you can really that you might really enjoy is the back tap feature now so you can go to accessibility and go down to touch and you can go to back tap and you can turn it on and you can set features to double tap your phone so like mm, you can do let's do a um, screenshot for this one so now when I tap the back of my phone it automatically screenshots. so that's a cute little feature so besides you know all the customization of the home screen those are like the main useful things that you can do with this current update once again if you need help creating your aesthetic if you like my aesthetic on my phone and you'd like to use some of the photos and icons that i have i have them all pinned down below in the in my description box with my pinterest link you could just use that to kind of like screenshot it and create the same aesthetic or maybe use a different color palette and you know pick and choose how you want to i hope that this video was helpful to you please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.